Every stride is a possibility, every mile is a gift, and every finish line is a blessing. Your toughness is made up of equal parts, persistence and experience. You don't so much outrun your opponents as outlast and outsmart them, and the toughest opponent of all is the one inside your head. The task ahead of you is never greater than the strength within you. The only way to finish is to start. The obsession with running is really an obsession with the potential for more and more in life. Every run is a work of art, a drawing on each day's canvas. Some runs are shouts and some runs are whispers. Some runs you feel like you're barely going to finish and others are huge celebrations. It really gets grim until the competition begins. You have to wonder at times what you're doing out there. Over the years, I've given myself a thousand reasons to keep running, but it always comes back to where it started. It comes down to the self-satisfaction and a sense of achievement. The race always hurts. Expect it to hurt. You don't train so it doesn't hurt. You train so you can tolerate it. Training is what you are doing when your opponent is sleeping in. You will never know your limits until you push yourself to them. Our running shoes have magic in them. They better with the amount they cost. Effort is just like toothpaste. You can always squeeze it out just a little bit more. Every morning a gazelle wakes up. It knows it must outrun the fastest lion or it will be killed. Every morning in Africa, a lion wakes up. It knows it must run faster than the slowest gazelle or it will starve. It does not matter whether you're the lion or you're the gazelle. When the sun comes up, you better be running. Sometimes running just sucks. You're tired, it's early, and it's cold. You don't want it to lace up and remember why you love the run. It's not about the finish line. It's about enjoying the process of getting there. I run every day. It's like medicine. Running has taught me to always push forward, especially in the most difficult times. Going in, you have to remember that the race is supposed to be the fun part. The race isn't to be feared. It's supposed to be the thing we look forward to. It's why you did all the stinging work in the first place, so have fun. Don't be afraid to fail. It's not the end of the world. And in many ways, it's the first step towards learning something better and getting better at it. The voice inside your head that says you can't do this is a liar. I think I got addicted to the feeling associated with the end of a long run. I love feeling empty, clean, worn out, sweaty. I love that good ache of the muscles that have made me proud. You were born to run, maybe not that fast, maybe not that far, maybe not as efficiently as others, but to get up and move to fire up that entire energy producing, oxygen delivery, bone strengthening process we call running. I always loved running. It was something you could do by yourself and under your own power. You could go in any direction, fast or slow as you want. Fighting the wind if you felt like it, seeking out new sights, just on the strength of your feet and the courage of your lungs. Eventually, you learned that the competition is against the little voice inside you that wants to quit. It always seems impossible until it's done. We're all runners. Some just run faster than others. I've never met a fake runner. There are moments in time when running allows you to see how wonderful you are. If you train hard, you will not only be hard, you will be hard to beat. A good laugh and a long run are the two best cures for anything. If you run, you are a runner. It doesn't matter how fast or how far. Run, always from stress to see the sunrise, in the pouring rain, to clear your head, fast or slow, short or long, when you're happy with a friend or a stranger for yourself, for a little lifetime for more than the finish line. Running allows me to set my mind free. Nothing seems impossible. One run can change your day. Many runs can change your life. There will come a day when I can no longer run.
Today is not that day. Look in the mirror, that's your competition. Running is the greatest metaphor for life because you get out of it what you put into it. If you want to become the best runner, you can start now. Don't spend the rest of your life wondering if you can do it. Running is a long time that lets my brain unspoil the tangles that build up over days. One step at a time. You didn't come this far to only come this far. I succeed in my own personal motivation, dedication, and commitment. My mindset is if I'm not out there training, someone else is. Don't dream of winning. Train for it. Running has taught me I am capable of so much more than I ever imagined. I don't run to add days to my life. I run to add life to my days. The more you run, the bigger your smile. Remember that feeling you get from a good run is far better than the feeling you get from sitting around wishing you were running. Tough runs don't last. Tough runners do. Runners are made when no one else is watching. Running is great for your body. It will increase your energy levels and help you to clear your mind. Don't stop when you're tired. Stop when you're done. The man who can drive himself further wants the effort it's painful is the man who will win or woman just keep going everybody gets better if they keep at it today i will do what the others won't so tomorrow i can do what others can't we all have dreams in order to make dreams come into reality it takes an awful lot of determination dedication self-discipline and effort if it doesn't challenge you it won't change you